to improve in women access in the digital sphere. To start this event, I would like to welcome the Director General of UNESCO, Mrs. Audrey Azule, to deliver her welcoming remark. Dear friends, I'm delighted to welcome you all to this online conference. Today we are celebrating the conclusion of a joint initiative by UNESCO and Sabrina Ho to promote gender equality in the field of digital creation. I would like to start by very warmly thanking Sabrina Ho for her commitment at our side. At a time when culture is facing an unprecedented crisis as lockdown measures speed up digitization, this conference comes at a decisive moment. This is why we wanted to be, to be part of a, a series, the Rizili Art Debate Series, organized by UNESCO. To date, more than 220 debates have been held in more than 70 countries. Focusing on the recovery of culture after the crisis, they also address gender inequality. Because inequalities are deeply rooted in the cultural field. First of all, women are underrepresented, especially in the most prominent creative roles and in decision-making positions. In general, women have less access to financial resources and are paid less than their male counterparts. We are well aware of these disparities and UNESCO highlighted them two years ago in its report entitled Reshaping Cultural Policy, Advancing Creativity for Development. Because of the pandemic, if we do nothing, women risk being left even further behind. And how can we expect it to be otherwise when girls and women are less connected and when they are four times less likely than men to master basic digital skills, as shown in a, another of our publication, um, I'd blush if I could. But these inequalities are not unavoidable. And our message on that is clear. There will be no recovery without culture. There will be no recovery without women. Supporting women in the creative industries is not only about making concrete progress towards gender equality. It's also about showing that change is possible, that change is underway. Through the You Are Next initiative, we've helped to bridge this digital divide with your support, dear Sabrina. Through this initiative, hundreds of young women in Mexico, in Palestine, Senegal, Afghanistan and Tajikistan have acquired essential skills for the digital environment, including coding, business management and the distribution of their creation. In Senegal, for instance, the DGTL project by an NGO uh, called Africulture Urban allowed young female artists to take part in tailored digital training courses. Now, these young women are role models who show that it is possible for women to make a living from their creations. They make a very convincing case for independence, providing proof that it is possible to rise above prejudice. I am convinced that today's discussions will bring us a little closer to the ideals of justice, equality and dignity. However, much remains to be done. The year 2021 declared by the United Nations as the International Year of Creative Economy for Sustainable Development is an ideal opportunity to move forward in this respect. I thank you all for your contribution and wish you a very fruitful conference. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Audrey Azoulay, Director General of UNESCO, for this uh, uh, inspiring speech. Now, I would like to give the floor to Mrs. Sabrina Wo, CEO of Shion Culture. Dear ladies and gentlemen, today is a very special day. The importance of the culture and creative industries for generating jobs, wealth, and social engagement 
is increasingly being recognized by government officials, private, corporates, and non-profit organizations. There is a strong link between sustainable development and the investment in creative and culture potential. Unfortunately, all over the world, female creators continue to face dramatic gaps in terms of education and professional training. We know that women are underrepresented in key creative roles and decision-making positions. In order to promote the gender equality in the digital creative industry with UNESCO, we have launched in 2018 the UNESCO Sabrina Ho Initiative, You Are Next, Empowering Creative Women. So today, I would like first to congratulate the four projects selected from this You Are Next initiative. Hashtag Be A Voice in Mexico, WAVE, Women Audio Visual Education in Palestine, Digit Els in Senegal, and Digital Art Academy in Tajikistan. And I would like to thank UNESCO represented today by Ms. Audrey Asule, Director General of UNESCO. Today we give young women, female, cultural entrepreneurs an, opp an opportunity to innovate and advance their careers in the digital creative industry. I believe that our You Are Next initiative can have an important impact on the gender equality in the digital creative industry. As a cultural entrepreneur myself, I believe that the private sector can work with international organizations like UNESCO and become partners for change. Today, I am happy to open this online conference focusing on the gender equality in the digital creative industry within the Asian region. And I would like to welcome our speakers and audience. Today's discussion will be crucial to empower young women in the region to invest in entrepreneurship and also to raise awareness on adequate policy to promote gender equality. To conclude, I would wish you all a good debate. Remember, the future is female and the future is digital. And I am sure that new generation of women will rise and take part of this creative economy because you are next. Thank you for being here today with us. We wish you all the best and stay safe.